In this video, we'll take a look at pop art collage, artworks, inspiration, and project requirements. So first off, what is collage? Well, collages are artworks made by combining pieces of different materials. However, it's not random. Design principles are considered to make really purposeful artworks. So what is pop art? Well, this is an art movement or style from around the 1960s and it's based on popular culture. That's where the pop comes from. Common objects in everyday scenes were depicted and meaning came from the ordinary things around us in our world. These artists somewhat stole from the things in their surroundings. Some key artists from the art movement are Klaus Oldenburg, Andy Warhol, and Roy Lichtenstein. In the images to the right, these are Andy Warhol's replicated boxes, different objects and, and common household boxes that you would have seen during that time. Let's take a look at an artist example. Michael Albert, he creates with pop culture items. He repurposes things from his environment and in this case, a lot of times, they're food labels or cereal boxes even. So how does Michael Albert create his collages? Well, he uses everyday objects like a pop artist, but he cuts them up and rearranges them like a cubist. His first serial collage was created in 1996 when he didn't want to throw away a Frosted Flakes box. He cut the cover off the box and took the cardboard backing off of a writing pad. He used that as his background to build on. He cut the box into pieces and he used clear glue to arrange and attach the pieces onto his background. The end result was the piece that you can see on the left. Space is an important element of art that refers to the distances or areas around, between, and within components of a piece. Michael Albert uses negative space in his collages, like this one to the right, and you can see that negative space through the white that's coming through from the backgrounds in the piece. So space is important, and you want to be careful to be very purposeful with how you create and use space. Balance is another important principle of design, and this describes how the work is laid out. So consider, do you prefer more symmetrical artwork, like the piece on the right here, which is relatively symmetrical, or do you prefer asymmetrical? Asymmetrical pieces would not be as balanced in this way through the middle. So we're gonna be creating a collage based on all of this inspiration. Your mission and one of the requirements is of course to create a collage and use a serial as inspiration. But of course you can only use the materials you have available. So that means traditional or digital. You can use food packaging like cereal boxes of course, but you can also use snack packages and other common items you might have around that would apply for this. You'll want to choose a background or a solid surface to build on, for instance, our artist that we've looked at today, he used cardboard backing for his in some of the work that we've seen. You want to consider design elements like space or symmetry so that you can create a really purposeful collage. This shouldn't be random. Also remember that glue or other adhesives, while they're helpful, they're not required. Some options for you include the kind of materials that you're choosing. So you could work with a traditional collage by using an actual cover to a snack container or a cereal box. So for instance, maybe you're all out of cereal right now, but you might have some snack containers and packaging that you could use. So this Ritz cracker box was turned into the collage you can see on the right. Digital collage is another example of something you could choose to do for this. And with digital, you wouldn't be using physical materials, you wouldn't need to cut them, but you would be digitally cutting and rearranging the materials to work in this manner. You can see on the left, an actual cereal box image was used, and then on the right here, it's been turned into a collage. Steps for creating your collage. 
You can see on the right here our featured artist is actually holding up a pair of scissors and some glue. But remember we've also just covered that you can work physically in this traditional manner, but you could work digitally as well. So we'll try to cover that. Our four main steps start with, first off, finding a cereal box. Remember, you can use snack or cookie boxes as a substitute. You could print an item if you don't have a physical item to use. You also could create a digital collage if you have no physical materials available. So nothing should really be keeping you from creating for this piece. Your second step is to cut up the chosen item using scissors. You could rip up the item if scissors aren't available, or you can work digitally, but you're still visually cutting up the item you choose. Step three, rearrange the piece of your item in an interesting design. Again, think purposeful, not random. Fourth, you'll want to attach the items to a background with glue. This is optional. You could place your items and make sure that they're staying in place before a big breeze kicks up or blows them away. You get an image of things that aren't glued, of course, and you could work digitally, in which case glue wouldn't be required as well. But ultimately, you want to arrange them and get them placed. So now it's time to create your own cereal collage. I'm estimating about an hour and a half would be needed to complete a really quality piece, which would include enough time to get any final inspiration, collect materials, and actually build this collage. So multiple class periods might be used to complete this. That means that you'll start today and you'll continue to finish up uh, for next time. So use your time wisely, get creative, I can't wait to see what you make for your collage.